Thank you. My yep. name is Angie Whitehurst, and your name? My name is Mel Scullin. Nice to meet you. I want to ask you a question. We're doing, uh, asking people about their work life and things they've done that they feel were of value or something that you've done in your life or an event you want to share that made you feel proud, I say happy or joyful. Um, uh, I think that the proudest thing I do and actually the most joyful thing I do is teaching uh, students. That I teach at the University of Maryland and I teach uh, first and second semester French and it is um, it's really, really fun to, 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 to get a group of people who don't know anything in another language and within three or four months they're able to understand uh, when I'm speaking to them in French and they're able to tell me uh, a little bit about their lives, who they are, um, it's very simple, uh, what, who their family is, um, what foods they like to eat, what their favorite sports are, um, you know, very topics that are very sort of personal to them. But that, but, but you see them um, taking risks, trying new things, learning new things, not being afraid to make mistakes. And it's, um, it's really, it's, it's really rewarding to be able to work with people who are, you know, typically between say 18 and, and 22. Although I've had students in my class who came from high school and I've had students in my class who were retired and coming back to learn the language, um, which is also really nice to have that balance, right, so people can learn from each other. But to um, take a group of 25 students in a classroom, they don't know each other at the beginning of the semester, but by the end of the semester they're a community, they're a group, they're, they're, they're supporting and kind of cheering each other on and they're not afraid, hopefully, in the ideal <laughs> class, they're not afraid to make mistakes, to take risks and to do something different. Is that to something see that progress is wonderful. That sounds really, really beautiful. And is that your teaching program and tool or is that something? Um, I am the, um, happen to be many things in that <laughs> equation. I am the one who trains the teaching assistants to teach the other sections. So I design the um, I design the way the course is going to look and how it's going to operate over several semesters, and then I train the people who are teaching there. It also um, happens that I, with a, with a team of uh, a couple other people, wrote the books that we use and develop that curriculum. So it's also really. Um, it's just really, really rewarding to see the materials that I spent so much time kind of creating and worrying about and you know, trying to get to be the best that I can are used uh, and like to see them to come to life, right? And to see the students sort of put my themes in my, they're not my themes in my words, they're you know, French themes in my words, but the way that I've organized them is with my co authors That's exciting. And, and it's very exciting. It's do very your exciting. students ever return and tell you thank you? You know, they do, they do sometimes actually during the semester, sometimes later, sometimes many, many years later. And um, nothing makes me happier than hearing from the first honestly. And to see um, some of my former teaching assistants who've become professors and directors of language centers and other things, to see them, um, to see them succeed and to see them win awards and come back and talk about that, that's, that's, you know, that's, yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. I guess, I mean, to me, I think I've been, I've been really very lucky in, in, in my work and in my career because uh, when I was in college and after college, I only knew one thing, and that was I needed to find a way to get paid to speak French. And to be able to do that, to actually make a living out of it, and to, um, and the other thing that I didn't know then, but I do now, is that really important to me is actually to make a difference in people's lives and um, you know my teaching French it's not going to change the world in a major way but I am I think able to make a difference in lots of people's lives. I think that's awesome communication. Well and understanding other cultures right you talked a while ago about being in Senegal and being in different places you know and um, a foreign language is also a way for people to understand that um, just because you 
say good morning this way or just because you eat this particular food for breakfast it doesn't mean that's breakfast food it just means it's breakfast food for you and for your culture but there's a whole world out there that does things in very different ways yeah. and so so you know there's also that piece of it too trying to get people to really reflect on who they are and what values they hold and what their culture holds what their culture teaches them and how that's not the right thing or the normal thing it's just you know their thing so to have respect for, for, for that's a very important point because the world is bigger than not just our own so I do hope to you know to show people through the basic language teaching um, and learning a little bit about another culture that, that it's important to reach out to other people and to try to understand where they're coming from and Do you think more Americans, Americans should, in particular, that we should be more multilingual oh my goodness, yes. than we are? Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it, it's an embarrassment that the United States is as monolingual as it is. you think that would make us more peaceful, more successful. It's definitely the hope that, that there would be more peace because it's hard to be. Um, I don't know. I was going to say, in some ways, it's hard to wage war against your friends, but people do it all the time. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would. I mean, you know, right now in this country. Even if we supposedly speak the same language, we can't seem to talk to each other. So, or you know, listen to each other, or try to. Right. So, um, I hope that in some small way, what I do contributes to that. I'm sure it's contributing in a very big way, and I want to thank you for the interview.